Hello and welcome to a new series of Dwarf Fortress 2014 with me the Green Dragon. So this is the new version of Dwarf Fortress that came out recently and we are gonna go ahead and get into it. I've play, uh, played a little bit of it so I'm not entirely unfamiliar with the new version but it's been very very little. So we're just gonna create a world with the default settings, I think. Except we're gonna go for a very short history, because we want to populate the world with our stories. So, this shouldn't take too long. With only five years of history, it really should go very, very quickly. So, well, that... Well, that's more or less it. It's done. And... I don't know, this seems good. Couple of nice continents. The Domain of Souls. Yes, there's gonna be a lot of souls floating around. Sounds good. This seems great. One of the additions is uh, to this new version is that it keeps simulating the world in the background even as you play your fortress. So the world will keep evolving even as we play our own fort and we can actually f build up a fort and uh, you know just um, you know it will we can uh, leave it without you know abandoning is what I mean and that's good that's very very good okay I want a warmer climb than that but you know I'm not going to try to be too choosy. I don't care if we have metals or not. We can make do without them. Though here, uh, shallow metals, fluxstone layer, and some metals deeper in as well. Although possibly deeper in, we might just have the stuff. Whoops. Yeah, it uses um, a rather big thing by default. I think we are gonna go with the default 4x4. We'll use a smaller one for the next fort if it turns out to be rather, you know, uh, slow because of it. Anyway, let us just embark and prepare for the journey. I'm gonna go with just one miner and you can also be our... I don't know building designer I suppose. We should have one decent building designer. Then we're gonna want a carpenter and bowyer. We're gonna want a woodcutter and a wood crafter. That way we can uh, make stuff if we need to. And we're gonna be making money using food. So we're gonna have a cook I think a grower oh, whoops we're out of money yeah the wooden stuff we don't really need we can make our own we're gonna have one quiver one rope and one crossbow with us I think I think anyway grower cook another grower maybe I mean if we do want to do it this way we are gonna need a butcher, you know, we're gonna have a hunter, but at the same time you know we don't really need a butcher, do we? Not really. And we don't need a hunter, we'll just order someone to hunt from... yeah, we'll just take some quivers with us and we'll have a couple of hunters when we have our first migration wave, and that should be fine. And this should allow us to be fully self-sufficient, essentially. Except that we don't have an actual mason. Hmm. But we shouldn't need one. We should be able to make everything with wood. Since the trees have changed in this newer version of the game. Now, I will ensure that we have a lot of... Um, actual bitumous coal with us and a little bit of... well, actually we're not gonna bring copper, we're just gonna bring bitumous coal, I think. Just because it's so very... Oh, oh no, we don't have bitumous coal, we have lignite. Well, 
lignite then. Why don't we bring a little bit of it, say 60 units? That should be enough, right? So we have a couple of growers. Oh, why don't we give you brewing too? Just to be sh. Oh, right. You have brewing on that one. Never mind. Never mind then, that's fine. Yeah, okay, that's good then. Items, items. We want um, plump helmet spawn, at least 25 of it. We want a couple of cats. Female, male, good. We want more booze. Yay, so. One of each type of tool. Like I said, we are not going to be using a lot of that stuff. And uh, garden vegetables. Huh. Why don't we have like, I don't know, 25 tomatoes and 25 something else, of something else. Right? Like uh, peppers. Or lettuce. I think peppers, right? Everybody needs something spicy in their lives, right? And we'll ditch the actual plum helmets because they're expensive as fuck. And we're gonna instead just get a lot of surface stuff here. Because, you know, garden vegetables, right? That and uh, what else? I want four different types of garden vegetables. Uh, spinach. Spinach sounds good, actually. Why don't we just go with that? We'll just, you know, have a bunch of stuff. I could ditch some of the lignite. I don't really want to ditch the lignite. How about the plump helmets? Yeah, not so much. Hmm. Well, we can always brew some more booze. Right, because we'll have plenty of stuff to brew it from, in theory. And we should have little or no shortage of barrels. So that should be good. And we'll just put those extra points into some cave wheat seeds and that should be good. So now let us... Huh. What's the fortress name? Castle Handled. Wardnet's Tomb Practice. Yes, yes, yes. That's... that's... Perfect. Uh, I'm done. Yes, storm practice. The boats of authoring. Sounds great. <laughs> okay, so why don't we just embark and go with it? Should be great. I might be doing a bit of surface building or alternatively building in the soil because, you know, just stuff. But we have arrived. Okay. Uh, let us start this and let us launch Dwarf Therapist because obviously we're gonna need that. There we are. That's our group. Come on, load up, load up, load up. It's okay, so we can make bows as needed, which is great. And trees, as you can see, is different. And each one of these brown actual tiles will provide one unit of wood. So each tree we cut down will provide a lot more than we are used to. Which is great. And why don't we just start by clearing some of the surrounding area of trees? Like, um, well, not up quite up to there, but say here. Yes. Okay, that should be good. And uh, we want to dig down. Obviously we don't have DF hack in this yet, unfortunately, because DF hack just hasn't come out for the new version yet, unfortunately. But even so, it's still just... Well, we'll still, we're still gonna have a lot of fun playing this dig in that direction and then hmm actually no we're gonna dig down from here 
Or to the side, admittedly. Do I want to dig to the side or do I want to dig down? I think we're gonna dig down. We're gonna build a surface structure and then we're gonna have a little tunnel inwards here, I think. Okay, no, not quite there. Not quite there. But uh, we do want to start making plump helmets ASAP. Right? Because plump helmets are awesome. And I think this will be a good enough start, in theory. As you can see, the FPS is already slowing down because it has to simul simulate all of the, the world in background, but... And you can see how much a single tree gives in wood, right? Okay, to look at things... Yeah, lots of cherry wood logs. Which is awesome, because, you know, that allows things to be awesome. We're gonna need some stuff here. So, we're gonna need craft dwarfs, we're gonna need carpenters, we're gonna need... Don't have a masons, right? So, butchers, tanners, uh, kitchen, and uh, still. There we go. Actually, no. Why don't we cancel all of that? Build C floor. That's six. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Why don't we build some floor here first? Right? Yeah, sounds great. And then we'll build walls around it. We're gonna have ourselves a little walled in area for the actual thing. Out of cherry wood, right? And actually, why don't we give this place a bit of a place around the edges so that it can actually, you know, be cool that way. Okay, that's actually a stupid way to set this up. And never mind, but we do want a smidgen of room around the edges here, just to ensure that, you know, everything works out nice and smooth, right? But we do, at the very least, want uh, a floor, right? Because, well, obviously, floor help, right? So, like this, cherry wood, right? And we'll turn on the carpentry for everyone for now so that they can swiftly build it up because... I mean... Oh, right, they ended up destroying that too, which is bad because then the food might rot. Okay. So, that would be nine. And another equally sized area here for actual food storage. And that way we can have a little bit of a place possibly. Also, invaders now climb walls. That is a thing to keep in mind. That is a thing to keep in mind. And the dwarves have suspended construction of wall. That is, or rather floor. That is not great. But, oh well, right? Okay, you have dug out that good will start our farm right away then. We want to fa plant at least the plump helmets as soon as possible just so that we have some food coming in, right? Because you know, that will be awesome. Great. So we'll build this little above ground construction one thingy at a time, I think. That will be a lot better. So, I think workshops now. We need a carpenters, craft dwarfs, tanner, butcher, and uh, kitchen and still, of course. Uh, L for still. Right. So, butcher and tanner, I'm just gonna give that to the cook for now. Because, you know. Awesome sometimes, right? There we go. And that should... 
you know, allow for things. Okay. So they're going to build all the kitchens and stuff, and that's going to be great. And then we're going to just slaughter our water buffaloes for a bit of extra starting food. And that will be great. That should, in fact, be quite, quite great. Okay, that is done. Let us just start with the plump helmets. There. So, yes, 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 make good things happen. Uh, dig out a storage for seeds next. Because we will need a place to keep those. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. So, we have a carpenter. Why don't we start constructing a large amount of wooden barrels? Because you know that will help as well. And why don't we start flooring it up with whatever wood we have available. Doesn't necessarily have to be cherry, it's fine. Right? But we do want to have a walk area around the workshop here so that, you know, it'll work out fine when we actually close it in and, you know, movement isn't blocked by the actual workshop tiles. Because that could be a thing, right? So yeah, things look good. Barrels are getting made, that's good. Lots of tallow, which has already been rendered. Tallow really allows cooks to pick up experience rather quickly. I find. Because, yeah, he has already got 500 units of experience and it's rather fast. You know? We are gonna want a bowyer and on top of all that, though. Possibly a mason as well, so... Why don't we expand this just a smidgen, just to ensure we can, you know, make that happen f properly as well, right? Good, good, good. They're gonna do their thing, that's good. And that's the thing, we just chop down a couple of trees and we cut a couple of hundred units of actual wood, and that's great, that's awesome, we can do so very much with it. And that's awesome. It's actually kind of awesome. Another thing we can do is um, actually start making wooden stuff here. No, not crafts. Bolts. Ten units of bolts. Ten units of bolts will do fine. Yeah, that's good. So how about a boyer and a mason now? Great. Great, great, great. That's a start. And you can be on masonry for now, though you have obviously got no skill for it. It should still be okay. Here, we're gonna keep the seeds. Just cause that makes a lot of sense to me, for whatever reason. Q, yes, to access things. Block all and permit the seeds and of course here we're gonna forbid the seeds so that they get moved underground simple enough really okay good things good things good things good things uh you suspend that for now go and build the actual thing there build the boyer's workshop will you also we're gonna want a set of walls around this. Just to make this an indoor thing, right? Have at least one room that's actually indoors here, so that, you know, the dwarves can chillax somewhat. In theory. There we go. That should be good for now. Yay. Yep, everyone's going and everyone's doing. That's wonderful. That's, in fact, pretty damn awesome. You know, this could really be set up in a really nice way, come to think of it. It aligns really nicely, because 
We'll have the big stairway here, right? And we'll just sort of build around here and have the rooms surrounding it and it'll be awesome. We'll build a couple of doors a bit later. It will be really, really cool. We're gonna set it up like this and like this like this and like this and that'll be awesome how big is this well let's just do it like this so nine right or rather ten but if you don't count the corner it's nine which is great and let's just get this up and going so that we have a neat little thingy here because you know that will be a lot lot okay I'm doing it wrong okay thanks for telling me I noticed uh, x, 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 x. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Game, you're full of crap here. Wait. Uh, no, 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 no. Not there. Here. Okay. Build C wall. And we're gonna build it here. Because, yeah, that's the way it needs to be built. There we go. That's better. That's better. And like so and yes so we're gonna do a bit of outside construction this time more than we usually do anyway or more than we usually did in the 2012 version of the game but you know I think that'll be awesome I think that'll still be kind of awesome so you know it should be great and I do bring those walls up rather quickly okay so Hmm. Yeah, like this. Have an opening there. Uh, D and N to remove construction. One, two, three. Remove those two. And then we're gonna have walls going up like this. And this and the same down below. And we're probably gonna have a lot of drawbridges and stuff up at the top but that's fine too for now we're not gonna worry about closing it off obviously that's gonna take a little while to set everything up and that's fine that's perfectly fine and we can probably unsuspend the barrels because this is built right no it's not in which case, suspend the barrels. You do have crossbow making, right? Right? Yeah, you're just constructing all the buildings. That's fine then. I'm just gonna let them bring everything online for now. That should be fine. Though it will, of course, take a little while. I will. Who's not working? The cook. Why is the cook not working? The cook is working. The frag game. Why are you showing him as idle? I will need to cut down a couple more trees because we have used up a fair amount of wood, but uh, there's plenty of wood to be had. So, you know, with abundant resources, there's no reason to be too stingy with this. Is there? No reason at all. And it will actually be easier for wagons to get through as well because. Well, the tunnels which are occupied by actual wood are fewer on the ground level. Up above, well, you can see where we've chopped, chopped some things down. There's obviously more trees, like, around. And they go up a fair ways. Luckily, I don't think the dwarves can be really hit by these things, which is good, because otherwise they would die horribly a lot being, you know, dwarves and being the way they are. Which is perfectly fine, and they haven't actually built all the plump helmets, have they? Oh well, 
can't have everything. At least they're almost done with the actual, you know, room there, which is great. Good, 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 and they're now doing their own things, which is great. Okay, that is does not look like a lot of wood. How much is that? Not a lot at all. Only four. Well, that was a bit more, huh? Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, lots of idlers. Okay, planters are doing good. Good things are happening there. We're gonna need a massive supply of barrels. So, please just mass produce those. Alright. And, uh, yeah, everyone else go off of this for now. Good, good, good. Good. Oh, the first ones are actually getting finished already. That's... I'm actually gonna order only farmers to harvest because they get a lot of experience from harvesting these things and I want only the farmers to do it. The people who are specifically farmers because I want them to be experienced. Right? And, you know, it's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. And you are happily making the wooden bolts? And that's fine. That's actually perfectly fine as well. Hmm. Well, something else I will do is I'll actually construct myself a pair of rooms here to have a primitive dorm and eatery. And then we'll construct like 10 beds, 10 tables, 10 whatevers. 10 chairs, that is, and, you know, have ourselves uh, enough, you know, room to actually support a few people. Because, you know, like, 10 actual beds and 10 actual eating spots should provide for something like 30 people, which should have a set for the first year or so, in theory. Uh, take that off of repeat and bed, 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 bed. We'll start with five for now and then we'll make the other five of each later. But that's gonna be it for the first video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So see you then.